Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are putting the glass door on the P1P. I ordered the bracket kit and I ordered the door to see if we can get it to fit the P1P. If you guys saw my first video when we put the glass top on the top of the unit, we will be also doing that again. Removing the front two screws from the front of the unit. While you guys pull the front off, you have to remove the SD card or it will break in half. Not forget the screw that is inside the inner part of the unit. Hey guys, I'm going over to my X1 carbon and I'm checking to see how big the screws are in this unit so I can match them up so we can install the glass door on the P1P. So I'm going to unscrew this. Guys, so we're back to the P1P. I am going to go through this massive bag of screws, all the extra parts that I have, and I'm going to see if I can find one that is close to this. All right, so you got to make sure that those are facing forward because it's only on one side. So there's little notches down in there and you're going to line them up. It took me a second to realize that, but see, it goes right down in there. Then you're going to put your screws in. I um, used the extruder package and I used some of these. Extruder. These are going to be for your top and the, these two are going to be for your bottom and they actually fit great. And kind of makeshifting this guys because they don't sell the screws. So bear with me. You work great. There they are installed. Those front screws nope. put back on and that inner screw. We are putting the seal on and the two magnets. We're gonna put the seal. Putting the seal on, work from the bottom up. Seal is on. Grab your glass door and you're gonna remove this once you get it put up. Don't remove both, keep them on because they are holding parts together and you don't want them to fall over. You're gonna floor. do one at a time, keep the tape on one so you don't lose those on the floor. You're gonna screw them in. Not too tight, you don't want to break the glass. Keep them a little loose so you can kind of shift the glass around. So you'll firmly tighten them once we get the top and the bottom installed. Guys, the glass door is installed on the P1P. Check that out. This is not recommended by Bamboo Labs. I just want to put that out there. This was my own idea because I kind of like the glass look. You do not have to do this, but I just kind of like the look of it. And I'm obviously going to print my sides. And we are going to put this kit, so we're going to install this on the P1P as well. The LED over here, we rerouted the cable to this side. We installed the side piece. We hooked up the chain. We added this to the back that was in the kit. And now, guys, I am going to be taking this apart by taking off these two screws on each side. And that's so I can put this piece in here so this cable is able to move around freely. I've removed the back piece. Move the other four screws just so it's easier so I don't break anything. That just popped off very gently. So just so this seal is only on the P1P. So we're gonna have to cut this off in order for this to clip onto the adapter right there. Seal is cut off. You do not need all of these chains so you can break it off. You want to make sure that it can fully extend and move around in all parts. Just so we know that there's enough room, guys, for this unit to work properly. The video is getting really long. I got her all put back together. The screws are on. Guys, here's the glass door on the P1P and the glass top. I'm gonna work on that gap right there. I'm just gonna create a file to cover that. I'm gonna put the AMS on it. Check it out, guys. Looks awesome. <laughs> They're gonna sell out of glass doors and tops. I'm just saying. Guys, this is the final part. Look at all the fingerprints. She's all together. She's done. She's looking fabulous. Make sure you guys are staying tuned for more. We put the glass door and the glass top on the P1P.